Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Skylar. 13 Reasons Why. It has been a buzz on the internet since it was released a few days ago. Hey, it's Hannah. Hannah Baker. Holy shit. Settle in, because I'm about to tell you the story of my life. More specifically, why my life ended. And if you're listening to this tape, you're one of the reasons why. I first read this book when I was 13. That was about eight years ago. And I remember feeling so many things all at once when I finished reading it. And I just went on the internet in desperate need to find a movie adaption or a TV show adaption of the show. But sadly, all I found was audiobooks. So when I first heard that Selena Gomez, Kate Walsh are taking part in this project, I was beyond excited. After years of anticipation, it finally happened. So basically, it was about this girl called Hannah Baker. She killed herself and what she left behind was tapes that recorded 13 reasons why she killed herself. When the series first got released on Netflix, I wasn't ready to watch that show just yet. I just needed time to get ready because 13 reasons why is a book that touches very sensitive topics and sometimes your mindset may not be ready to read that or watch that just yet. Fortunately, I found time this Monday. I was on spring break so I have the entire day off and Pitch Perfect 3 basically wrapped up so I was feeling immense pain and like what's best to do when you're feeling immense pain? Like watch a series that gives you more pain because that's what life is all about, right? After sobbing dramatically towards the fact that Pitch Perfect 3 just wrapped up, I decided to start the series with tears still in my eyes. There are 13 episodes for this show and I finished it in one day. It was that good. So here's what I think about the film. Don't worry, there won't be any spoilers because you gotta watch it yourself. When a show or a movie gets released that is based on either a novel or a comic book like Marvel, you know, DC, it could never level up to the original work. There basically is limited time when it comes to shows or movies, it simply cannot put all the details into that show or that movie. Surprisingly, 13 Reasons Why they did an amazing job producing the film, writing the script, they didn't disappoint me and I just couldn't feel more grateful. Because come on, if after years of anticipation and the show ends up ruining the book for you, that is just traumatizing and sad. Look what happened to Percy Jackson. Take this to defend yourself. It's a powerful weapon. This is a pen. Only use it in times of severe distress. This is a pen. Click it! Hey. I was furious when I saw the movie because there is so much more to the story and the movie left so many things out. So yeah, I'm very glad that 13 Reasons Why did an amazing job on production and filming. I'm just very glad it didn't disappoint because I was so afraid that it might happen. Yeah, I didn't. And second of all, if you heard like the brief description of this book, you would know that this book touches very, very heavy topics. It is very serious and it could not be treated like a joke. It touches topics like bullying, rape, suicide, and drugs and self-harm. Some of the scenes in the show was very graphic so if you ever want to watch the show and you get triggered very easily you need to watch out for the trigger warnings. The trigger warnings for the show should be taken very seriously and lastly the film itself is very well put together. It spreads such an important message to the community. People out there should know that even when you didn't mean it intentionally it might hurt someone in the process so you should never do anything that could hurt people because you have no idea what they're going through and sometimes when they're just too sad and couldn't find any reason to live on this world the smallest insults could push them over the edge and make them do something that shouldn't be done you know what i mean watching 13 reasons why really made me feel so many things all at once the show kind of dug out some of my feelings that have been buried deep within my heart and it just brutally snatched it out and i just i mean i got over them but i could still feel the pain that i felt when i was going through you know that. When I was in high school, I was an immature brat. I felt like I don't fit in. I was just not for that class and people probably all hated me there. I kind of got cyberbullied on this Facebook group with 1,000 people and it got lashed out at by my classmates. They spoke some pretty harsh words. I have a resting bitch face. With my resting bitch face, they think I am happy every day when in reality I'm just resting. They just judged me based on my appearance. The fact that I don't talk much. You know, when I'm in an environment that I don't feel comfortable in, I wouldn't talk much. I would just keep it all to myself. That's just who I am. But obviously because of my personality, 
party. They disliked me, like really, really disliked me, like probably hated me. It was very tough, but uh, I got over it. I think just it hurts to think about it. And then in college, I did horrible on my college entrance exam. So I didn't get in my dream college. After getting in the school, I realized that this school is a school that solely focuses on academic and ignores basically almost every extracurricular activities. I mean, that's not college to me. So because of that, I got even more depressed. First, I felt like I didn't fit in. And then with all the heavy schoolwork going on, I wasn't able to do what I love. I wasn't able to even spare out some time to go hang out with my high school friends. I wasn't able to do anything but studying. That made me even more depressed because studying makes people depressed. That's like common sense. I couldn't find anyone that I connected with on a spiritual level. So I felt very, very lonely. In my freshman year, I was lucky in my second semester. I basically stepped out of my comfort zone and went and joined dance performance in another school. I was happy because the people there are carefree and they are just funny and entertaining. I forgot briefly how unhappy I was at that school. In my sophomore year, first semester, basically I went through some shit around November to an extent that I basically broke down in my room. I just cried and cried and cried because I have no idea what I did to deserve that. I felt very, very lonely, very depressed, very, very sad during that period of my life. If you guys have all been following me on my channel, you know I made some internet friends. And yes, the reason why I adore them, respect them so much and love them so much is because they were the reason why I was able to survive that period of my life. I was so depressed every day and basically when I sit down in my room alone with my accounting book just opened in front of me, I could just broke into tears. I was a pretty bad place. Talking to them helped me forget about some shit that was going on in my life. I never thought of myself as a good enough human being. To have actual friends, to have people care for me, they gave me a reason to believe that I'm not that horrible, that I'm a decent human to talk with. I never knew until then that all I needed was somebody to talk to and they were there for me. They are still here for me and because of them, I found a reason to smile in my sophomore year every day. Despite the fact that I don't really have people I connect with on a spiritual level in real life, I had them and that's literally enough. I'm so grateful that I have them in my life. I'm sorry that I brought you guys down memory lane with me. Talking to people really does help. It takes me a very, very long time to warm up to people to actually talk about my feelings. I don't do that, okay? I don't talk about my feelings. I don't do that. It's just a very scary thing for me to do. But I'm lucky to find people that I trust enough to open up to them. If you're going through some shit now, I just want to say that you're not alone and you don't deserve to feel that way. You deserve all the happiness you can get. Sometimes the shit gets too much that you just feel numb and you don't know what you feel. I've been there once and I was horrified. That's why sometimes I watch sad movies, I read sad stories, I listen to sad music because I wanted to feel something. And like that became a habit, but that's just how I am. If you're really going on through something, find someone to talk to, do anything that could get your mind off the reality. Just do something. Don't hurt yourself. Nobody deserves to feel alone. Nobody deserves to feel sad. People all deserve to be happy with their life, with themselves. So that's why I think this show is so important and it deserves more recognition. I know that it touches very, very serious topics, but just watch out for the trigger warnings. This show is definitely not overhyped. It lets people know when you see someone with a smile hung on their faces, you have no idea what they're going through in their lives and you have no right to bully them. Thank you guys so much for watching this kind of emotional video with me because this show really made me feel so many things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't worry, next week's video will definitely not be this serious. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in another new video. Until next time. Bye!